Louisiana Senator John Kennedy, member of the Senate Judiciary Appropriations and Budget Committees, welcome to The Focus. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to kind of explain, as I remember contemporaneously, why it was important to know how things started. There could be another pandemic. Transparency is going to be critical. we got to get this right. Well, uh, first I would observe, Harris, that uh, clearly we're going to have to get some new conspiracy theories because all of the old ones turned out to be true. Um, I think the conspiracy theorists are up something like 37 to nothing. Uh, based on the classified and unclassified information I've seen, here's what I believe and here's what I think a preponderance of the evidence shows. Number one, uh, scientists in the Wuhan lab in China were conducting gain-of-function research on how to create the coronavirus in humans, and they were successful. Number two, the United States was helping to pay for it. Number three, they're much better than even odds that uh, that coronavirus escaped from that lab and killed 25 million people. Number four, we can't know for sure because some American scientists won't talk and the Chinese won't cooperate. And number five, the American people deserve the truth. And as an aside, we could have that truth if we had better leadership. But instead of working on issues like this and others, the Biden White House would rather send President Biden to Hollywood to meet with uh, movie stars and pop singers and people who partied with Harvey Weinstein, um, where he could stand on a stage next to President Obama, uh, um, looking like Jack Nicholson at the end of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I mean, it was embarrassing. Ooh. Um, and that's why 70% of the American people think this country's headed in the wrong direction and the other 30% are still living with their parents. Uh, and that's what I think. You know, it's also a state in California where the president just was, um, where their leadership, Gavin Newsom, was doing things like breaking COVID protocols and, and went to a Michelin two-star restaurant and, and going wherever he wanted to go while his people were in lockdown, locked inside. Uh, and we know how punishing those lockdowns were, particularly for the young amongst us. We have Senator Rand Paul, who's speaking right now, and he's holding to account mm -hmm. public versus private statements by scientists. Let's watch if you can stay with me for just a second, mm -hmm. Senator Kennedy. Say, oh, it's not a laboratory construct. We don't do anything here. Let the administration do this. And I would say this if it were a Republican administration. I don't care which party it's in. I agree with scientists like Kevin Esfeld who equate this with nuclear weapons. This is incredibly important and needs congressional oversight on the select agents, but also on the gain of function. Now, some people think this just started. It's incredibly uh, partisan. And I'll just for a quick answer, then a more extensive answer. Uh, Dr. E. Bright, are you part of the right-wing conspiracy? Are you uh, somehow some kind of crazy Republican partisan? I'm a registered Democrat. I voted for Biden. I had a All right, I want to come back to Senator Kennedy. I was taking copious notes on what you were saying, and it is so serious and, and jarring to, to hear how we haven't really come that far forward. If you could tell us what the pathway looks like right now. Well, we need a president that will go to our scientific community and government and say, look, um, we, we don't want we, we to release any classified information that will hurt America's security. But within that con those confines, the American people need to know the truth about this. And we're going to tell them the truth. And I want all of you scientists who think you're smarter and more virtuous than the American people to stop play acting. That could be step one, but President Biden is not going to do that. I, I, he won't work on any of these issues, um, and we're going to have to wait until we have a change of leadership. Senator John Kennedy from the great state of Louisiana, always great to have you in focus, sir. Thank you. Outnumbered is next.